Look what happened. And I saw Trump rising up, and then I saw an attempt on his life. Uh, that the, this bullet flew by his ear, and it came so close to his head that it busted his drum eardrum. And I saw um, he was he fell to his. You see, assassinations, attempted assassinations, even assassinations. Oh, wait, you say assassination attempt? What they used to say of Africa. Hello guys, you're welcome back. Hope you guys are feeling good. My name is Bukumi BK Crown. Thank you so much for clicking. New wave of patriotism coming out. And that's whenever I saw Trump and I saw the I saw a, a red wave coming out of um, Michigan. And then I saw Oklahoma and there was embers of people and they were all on um, these these they had torches all throughout Oklahoma and they were raising up these torches that looked like fire and they were bringing forth a new patriotism upon the nation and it was coming it was being birthed and it just kept spreading like fire all throughout America all throughout and I saw Trump rising up and then I saw an attempt on his life. Uh, that the, this bullet flew by his ear and it came so close to his head that it busted his drum eardrum and I saw um, he was he fell to his knees during this time frame and he started worshiping the Lord he got radically born again during this time frame I'm talking people say he's saved now but he becomes really on fire for Jesus for what I saw coming and um, then I saw people interceding when he and I see him I saw him winning the the presidency uh, through great uh, the Lord showed me it would go clear into the the summer great persecution would come on him through the judges and through the um, through the law and all these people trying to sue him and all this stuff, but there would be a stop to it, and their things would start to to, to break free come toward the fall. And then I saw him winning uh, the election uh, through uh, the patriots coming out and voting, and then and then and then there will be a great economy crash. Yeah. I saw they had a great economy plan a crash yeah. worse than the uh, the uh, great depression and the lord warned me about this it would be a great dark time but i saw paddles coming upon america's soil like a shocking of the soil and i saw donald trump praying in the office of the of the oval office and he was weeping before the lord with his hands on his head like this but he was weeping and there was ministers and people i don't know if they're senators or or congress people or whatever they i just saw them pacing and back and forth inside of the uh, the um the white house uh, and sorry the the uh, what is the white house but it's the oval office yeah. and they were interceding all inside there and i could feel the presence of the lord so strong on this and then i could see that darkness that was the heaviness upon america with the with the um the uh the financial crisis of what I saw coming, it started to lift above the trees and I saw the blue and the, and the things coming back out and the green times and the good times coming back again. But the Lord said it would be forth a, a time of a season of um, a shaking and it would be a shakening to awaken. And, and in this, there, it, this would uh, uh, basically that he was not done with America. There would be a great revival come and there's it's. It's not all doom and gloom, as we said. The sky's not falling. It's just a time of, uh, it's like people. The Spirit of God says that this president will serve out his full term, but that there are those determined that he will not serve out his life. Pray, says the Lord, that the enemy does not get an opportunity to say, we failed at character assassination, let's go for a real assassination. Pray that no weapon formed against your president shall prosper. The Lord says that I will fight for him and he shall know my angels are set round about him. It's a good place to pray. Father, we just pray right now and partner with your prophetic people for the protection of this president in the name of Jesus. I'm going to show you the moment that just happened when the former president was speaking at his rally. Let's watch that video. Take a look at what happened. Thing unfold. You see, they move him off the stage. He is standing up. It's unclear what his status is, but you see him put his fist up. 
and you see him doing a fist pump. It appears like he's saying fight. Um, you see assassinations. Attempted assassinations, even assassinations. Wait, wait, you say assassination attempt. What they used to say of Africa, they are about to see it in the Western world. Wow. <laughs> ah, if it's America, you've already seen election rigging. Pray for Donald Trump. Pray for him. Pray for him. Because there are plans and ditches planned for him to fall in. But the Lord said, no, no, I'll protect him. Amen. But how does he protect him? He protects him by our prayers. Zefuria telegratus kegan. You see assassinations. Attempted assassinations. Even assassinations. Wait, wait, you say assassination attempt. What they used to say of Africa, they are about to see it in the Western world. Wow. Ah, if it's America, you've already seen election rigging. And welcome to Hannity, and this is a Fox News alert. Today, the former president of the United States, Donald J. Trump, was the target of an apparent assassination attempt. One innocent attendee is now dead. President Trump, we are told, is alive and well and now in a safe location. The shooter, meanwhile, has been killed by U.S. Secret Service. A suspected shooter fired multiple shots towards the stage from an elevated position outside of the rally venue. U.S. Secret Service personnel neutralized the shooter, who is now deceased. U.S. Secret Service quickly responded with protective measures, and former President Trump is safe. One spectator was killed. Two spectators were critically injured. This incident is currently under investigation. I am, yes. Hi, Wolf. Uh, I'm here with Joseph Mine. Um, he was sitting actually behind Donald Trump in the bleachers today when this all unfolded. He, um, I'm going to let him share exactly what he saw. It was a very harrowing moment that he, he was there for. Can you please tell us what happened, Joseph? Yeah, it was the Trump. Uh, I was attending the rally. Um, it seemed initially like firecrackers went off. It was a little. It was very confusing initially because you know I knew it was gunfire, but I couldn't quite tell where it was coming from. It sounded like it was coming from behind the bleachers, and the man in the bleachers, um, kind of to the right of me in the bleachers, took a gunshot wound to the head. Um, it was killed, and another woman. I, she, I don't know exactly where she was in the bleachers. I think she was either behind me or to the right of me. She got around in the. She got hit in the forearm and hand. It looked like, but it just if she was wounded, she wasn't killed. Can I ask you how you're feeling? Obviously, you just witnessed something terrible happen. Um, a lot of chaos was in the room. How exactly are you feeling right now, Joseph? You know, it's something you don't expect. You know, it's, it's a bolt out of the blue, so it's very shocking. It's just, I think a lot of people in the crowd just thought it was fireworks going off. I knew immediately it was gunshots. I, I you know, I, I knew they were close. And then when I saw someone get hit and go down, um, that's when I knew it was probably serious. Um, you know, it was a lot of confusion. It's just massive confusion, you know, throughout the event. Um, I saw Donald Trump get hit. Um, it looked like he had, look, you know, he was either, I have a, I was running my camera at the time, but it looked like he was just turning to the, he was turning his head to the side, and it looked like he got grazed in the, in the right ear with a bullet. Um, I kind of saw that go on, and then I looked down, I saw that the man, you know, died in the bleachers. Um, it was just complete pandemonium, like every, you know, there was a bit of a delay, like there was a lot of confusion, but immediately, you know, it seemed like more gunfire erupted. I couldn't figure out where that was coming from. And then, you know, there was a state policeman there. A, I believe a SWAT team, you know, showed up relatively quickly. They jumped the side. There was a fence, you know, it was next to the bleachers. They jumped the bleachers and started clearing the bleachers. And then I helped carry the body of the man down out of the bleachers, and they took him to a tent um, behind the bleachers. Um, we put a towel over his head, but he, he, he's deceased. You were telling me before when we were chatting briefly that you never had a chance to make it to a Trump rally, that this was your first yes. time. Do, would you feel safe coming back to another Trump rally? Yeah, I, yeah you know, it, it's a very random event that happens. You know, I, I, I feel safe generally where I go in the country. You know, I think the problem is, is we have a very, everyone seems very angry. And, you know, it, it makes you kind of, you know, I'll go to a Trump rally again, but I'll think twice. Um, you know, you definitely want to have your head on the swivel. It just seems like there's a lot of angry people out there. And I, I, I'm not shocked that this happened. Um, I'm shocked that I was sitting there and it happened next to me. Obviously, you don't you never anticipate that to happen. But you know, it's 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 just horrible. 
You know, we, we shouldn't be at a level of polit political discourse in this country where this is going on. It feels like it's 1960 again. Uh, you know, it's just, it's horrible. Can you describe for me, Joseph, what happened after you saw the shots? And I rem I mean, I was there as well. Secret Service was screaming for everyone to get down. They quickly tried to clear the area. I, I'm just curious what that process was like for you in the in the aftermath. Very confusing. Like I said, I think everyone was in the bleachers knew. It was initially confusing when the gunshots erupted. Half, I think the crowd thought it was fireworks. I think someone thought they were playing a joke. And, you know, the people were close to the people that got injured and killed. You obviously knew it wasn't a joke. And it was, it seemed like there was a push-pull in the crowd. And that is one half of the crowd on the far end of the rally thought it was some type of weird joke. The other half of the crowd knew it wasn't and was trying to push or impress upon the rest of the crowd that this is serious. And I, I think everyone got the idea very quickly that it was a dangerous situation. And everyone just started hitting the deck. And, you know, kudos to the Secret Service, you know, again, you know, when you're in these situations, a second feels like it's an hour, but it seemed like authorities were there very quickly. Um, it just seemed to me, like I said, I was sitting there, it seemed like the rounds came from behind, and they, they got this, they, they hit the gentleman in the head, you know, he got a gunshot wound to the head, and the other lady was injured, and then I saw Trump, President Trump, you know, get hit, and it looked like his right ear, but it seemed initially everyone was in, like, half the, sh the tr crowd was in shock, and the other half thought it was some type of weird joke. And it just, it took, it took a bit for everyone to get a good understanding of what was going on. So. You mentioned that you had spoken with the person who ended up falling, I believe you said, or he no. was with his whole family? No, his family watched it happen. Um, so they were in the bleachers when he got hit and he went down. I, I think they were trying to figure out if he, what was going on. They were screaming for help. Um, the body was, they put a towel over the man's head, the body was removed from the bleachers, then the police came back, you know, right after and tried to move the family, but they were all in shock. They didn't quite, they weren't processing what was going on. Mm -hmm. um, the man was definitely, he was dead the minute he was hit. I mean, it was something that reminded me of the Zapruder film from Kennedy. I mean, it was, it was his head snapped and that was it. And I, I caught it out of the corner of my eye and, you know, and then there was just pandemonium. And again, you, you know, it's Pennsylvania, you don't, you know, you're out in rural Pennsylvania, you don't really anticipate this is going to happen, but it happened. You mentioned, and I'm sorry, I know this is very emotional for you as well. Um, you mentioned that, you know, this was your first Trump rally. How are you feeling about the election now? What are you hoping to, to see moving forward? We've already seen a lot of statements of support from across the aisle come in for the former president. I can tell you, too, from our sources that they say that Donald Trump is okay, that he is at a local facility being treated. Um, but I would love just your view on, I know you came here today to support the man that, um, you know, the former president. I'm, I'm curious how you think about this now. I know it's a, it's a hard question given the, the chaos that we're currently in and the adrenaline that we're both face, feeling right now. But if you can share any of that insight. It solidifies my, my support. I, I, you know, I understand, you know, people under, I, I, people believe that Trump's, well, they know. He's bombastic. They don't really like him. He's a very polarizing figure. He has an abrasive personality. But I truly believe he has the best interests of the country at heart. And, you know, you make a point. You know, the man's a billionaire. Mm -hmm. He could be sitting in the, you know, like you said, the you were sitting at the rally joking about it. He's like, I could be sitting in the Mediterranean on a yacht enjoying my life, but I'm not. I'm trying to help run the country. It, it puts in perspective there's a real cost for that. I mean, there, there's some people that really want him dead. And it, to me, this is just ridiculous. So like, you know, we have a lot of political violence in this country. It comes from all, it, you know, it's not so much from the right, it comes from everywhere. And it just needs to stop. Um, yeah, JFK, at RFK, you've had Martin Luther King. Now you're going to, you know, attempt the life of Reagan. And now you have an attempted, you know, assassination of Trump. It's just ridiculous. And it just, you know. I don't think it's a gun problem. I don't think it's a violence problem. I think there's a lot of angry people that just have too much interest in politics, and it's a zero-sum game to them. Um, you know, politics shouldn't be a zero-sum game where someone every someone wins everything and someone loses everything. Mm -hmm. And I think this is this is a result of that. Um, people it came today. You know, we're very happy. They're here to support Trump. But you could you can tense you can you can when you talk to people in the crowd, you, you, there's a tenseness. Um, they don't want to, you know, they don't want to talk to family members about politics because it just gets too angry. Mm -hmm. So I don't know what to tell you, but this needs to stop. Well, let me know your thoughts.